message would you have for our division about opportunities we have in moving forward just as a group? Yeah, that's a great question, you know, Stephanie. And, and you may be involved with some other divisions too. Um, uh, you know, yeah. um, I'm, uh, I'm a fellow of uh, five divisions and um, some of those divisions wor work as like fine oiled machines, you know? Yes. Div division 12, clinical for one. Division 38, uh, health. Uh, yeah. are two, I think, really good examples. And they are fine oiled machines. And I think we can take uh, lessons, uh, take a page from the playbook from some of these other divisions. Uh, another division, Division 39, psychoanalysis, you mm -hmm. know, they, they, they hang tight together. You know, they vote as a block a lot of the times and they get, for example, they get a lot of council seats. Uh, they get five or six council seats when we get one or two even though uh, they don't have that many more people than we do yeah. in, in, in the division. So I think we take a page from the playbook uh, from some of these other divisions. Now, the other thing I think about our division is that we tend to be maybe more introverted than extroverted, introspective or whatever. And we don't say it loud and proud. Yeah. And uh, we, I think we do need to, I mean, you know, I'll use kind of you know, religious language, but I think we need to evangelize and preach uh, loud and proud because there's a tremendous amount of discrimination and uh, prejudice against anything kind of religious uh, out there, including it through APA. I mean, you would not, on my six years on council, some of the things that were said either on the floor of council or in meetings or even on the listserv or whatever, about religion would absolutely shock you <laughs> and, because somehow it's okay to um, say these sweeping prejudicial statements about uh, religion and religious traditions that frankly I found just were quite remarkable. And, and some council members would tease me about this because I would tell them that I was here to evangelize them, you know, just joking around with them. Yeah. And they would just you know, tease me to no end about some of these issues. Um, and so I think our division needs to be more outward focused than inward focused, mm -hmm. you know, more extroverted than introverted, mm -hmm. um, and to take page books, uh, a page, take a page from the playbook mm -hmm. of, of divisions like Division 12, 38, mm -hmm. and I'm sure there's many others, uh, to say, how do you, how you can do this in a more pr productive and successful way? That makes sense. And so I'm curious then, because you have this, this opportunity through council, um, and you do, I mean, you also do a ton of media, like you said, what, if you had to distill the message down um, around psych of religion and spirituality, what would you most want folks to know about it? Well, I think the thing is, is that I want people, and I try to teach this in my, my psych and religion yeah. classes that I teach at, you know, Santa Clara and all that, and, and uh, the, uh, the, this ethics and professional issues um, seminar that I uh, teach at Stanford for, uh, in psychiatry, is that, you know, people are, you know, whole people. We need to look at the whole person, biological, psychological, social, spiritual, cultural, blah, 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 the whole person. And that spirituality is part of the whole person. Right. And some people find um, spiritual sustenance through traditional religious traditions of various sorts, and some don't. But we can't deny and ignore the whole person. Mm -hmm. uh, the, additionally, that it's a question of cultural competence. So many people are who they are and make decisions that they make based on their um, spiritual religious tradition that often inter intersects with their ethnicity and race and things like that. Right. And so we have to embrace all of that. And, that it, and there's a lot of quality evidence-based research that suggests that people that um, are, do embrace and engage uh, these uh, spiritual religious uh, 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 perspectives and engage and so forth tend to have better mental health and yeah. they tend to have better physical health and they tend to have better relationships and they're less likely to you know abuse alcohol and, and have some of these other terrible problems that are out there. And so um, we can't be afraid of religion and spirituality. And too many people are either afraid of it or prejudiced about it. And I think we have to constantly fight that. And we say, hey, look, this is, this is a tool in the toolbox to treat the whole person so um, and, and, and involve the whole person and uh, not be so afraid.